This is DBTV here at the London International Wine Fair with Chester Osborne, the uh, charismatic and flamboyant chief winemaker of Darenberg in the McLaren Vale. And uh, he's been involved in the Australia First Families and Wine event today. Um, Chester, what brings you to the wine fair this year? Well, I come every year, I suppose, so uh, the one of a drink, I suppose. <laughs> no, um, well, uh, we see our agents from all over the world here usually, but also there's a hope of English that we end up catching up with, obviously, having a drink with and um, you know, trying to sell, sell a bit more wine. But we've also come along with the 12 first fam Australia's First Families of Wine, which are multi-generational companies that are uh, mostly four to six generations old. And we've been doing uh, featured tastings, speed dating tastings, which are really, really novel, and, uh, and showing off our wares and promoting ourselves collectively as uh, really old-fashioned companies. That, I should say old fashioned, old companies that have really been working with the same bit of soil for a long time. Sure, and um, and you brought along a new sweet wine with you. Um, I'm probably going to get this wrong. The Noble Botrytinia Fucilania. That's pretty close, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Noble Botrytinia Fucilania. Fucilania. Uh, by uh, a, actually the species of mold that attacks the grapes and makes the Noble Rot. Right. It's actually by this name. Really? And, uh, yeah, and it it's was. It's got the F word. As Gogli, Gogli Foucault was the scientist who named the word, right. and, and hence why it's called Tritonia yeah. Foucaultinia. Have you had a few people uh, mis mispronouncing that word? Uh, yeah, it does happen quite a bit, <laughs> and I've noticed on on places where, where they didn't want to write that word, they write F C K and just right. leave out one of the. So it doesn't upset people, but it is the true species name, and so you know what okay. else? We've got we've got quite a few exotic little names down there. There's, sure. there's another wine called the Senesilica phobic cat, Sagrantino Sinsai, right. which um, I have a little prop here, a cat that's gone to sleep. Um, <laughs> but uh, Senesilicophobia is the fear of an empty glass, which right. I think most people in this whole tent, the uh, whole uh, uh, hall have actually. And so, sure. uh, uh, that, that's and an official phobia, isn't it? Yeah. Of, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. it's a uh, Sagrantino Sinsai, which is really quite exciting wine. It's quite small production right now, but we're looking forward to making it okay. more of them because it so, works so well. And what else have we got in front of us? A dead arm, I see. Yes, the dead arm. We have a wine that uh, is Shiraz, but uh, old, very old vines, 40 to 130 year old vines. And the Utipa, the fungus gets in the pretty cuts, kills off the arm of the vine. So every 20 years we have to cut off the dead arms, retrain a new shooter so that it doesn't kill the whole vineyard. So okay. I have a prop for the dead arm. Right. Uh, we have a wine called the Money Spider. Rusan, and this used to work. You put a spider on there, and it used to crawl on the ground and go, Ah, help me, help me, which was great because this represents Shiraz, you know, the Northern Rhone variety, and yeah. the spider was the, the Northern Rhone white variety, which has only just come into Clover, it's been there for 170 years. So it was like the new white attacking the old, the okay. old red area. And you got a crab there? We've got a crab here for the hermit crab, right. which is a uh, Fionia Marsan. Uh, Marsan is a major white crab of Hermitage. Hermitage translated means house of the hermit. And a hermit crab carries his house around the whole time. Okay. And there's hermit crabs on the beaches of Clarimar. And hermit crabs, there's fossils in the limestone underneath. So the roots are down there, sucking in. up little bits of fossilized hermit crab into the grapes and into the wine. Okay. So it's a whole sort of hermit crab experience. Sure. If you're lucky, you'll taste the, the minerality of the crab. And, uh, and uh, the, I've heard through the grapevine that you're uh, releasing a sparkling wine called Dad. Oh, yes, yeah, exactly. Four generations of dads uh, have uh, culminated in this. In a hundred years, it's taken for us to actually produce a high end uh, sparkling wine from high altitude vineyards in the Adelaide Hills, the highest altitude vineyards, actually. So uh, it's coming out in about three months' time. Very exciting. Will that be DA Double D? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah? Because there's so many of us, that's all. And it will have the sash, the red sash. Uh, yeah, we'll have the red sash, that's exactly right. Well, all of our wines have the red sash okay. to nominate. Uh, this has been with us for uh, for uh, 60 years now, actually, the okay. red stripe. And uh, actually, the, the name Darenberg is my ancestry name, it's one middle name, and my grandmother's maiden name, she died giving birth to my father, so he was named her namesake. And, um, the, uh, the royal stripe goes this way, and the bar sinister stripe goes this way. And we think we're actually from a bastard family of Arenberg since. That's why it seems to work quite well. My father didn't know that when he put that on there. <laughs> it's, it's one way to remember the label. Brilliant. Chester Osmond, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much.